Hello everyone, this is Tormuse, and I am picking up where I left off in my Spinaka Harper game, which is now well over my uh, previous season's game in uh, length. Um, yeah, like I said at the end of the last uh, session, uh, I'm planning to go searching for Kyanite this time. Um, if, if, I might just keep this episode short and just do the Kyanite search and... and uh, Maybe uh, maybe scan Sea Dragon if the opportunity presents itself, um, and just and just leave it at that. Um, I don't know. Although I've, I've said before, I'm going to keep this short, and then didn't. So Oops. maybe this is a test of my discipline. I don't know. Uh, self my self discipline. Um, we'll see. <clears throat> it occurred to me that uh, going this deep with the uh, uh, prawn means I'm facing the prospect that um, if something goes wrong and, and I uh, uh, you know, fall out of the world, um, like I face the prospect of, of going below the, the prawn's crush depth, <laughs> um, which would be awkward. Um, I don't know what happens if it crushes completely. I'm presuming it explodes and I lose everything inside it, <clears throat> like including all upgrades and all, everything in the inventory. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, no, no, no rescue operation would be possible in that case. I expect. Um, I mean, I don't recall. I think, like back in season two, I didn't have the issue of the prawn falling out uh, in in the volcanic region, but yeah, I, I'm I'm sure it's a possibility. I don't know. We'll see. I'll uh, I'll be careful regardless. Um, like every time I go out in the prawn, I'm like I, I feel like I always have to be on my toes because. At uh, any second, the game might bug out. <laughs> it's it's an annoying thing to have to deal with. I mean, this is a fun game, honestly, but it's it's uh, the bugs do detract from that from a bit. Like the fact that the prawn periodically just drops right through the floor uh, is pretty egregious bug, all things considered. Um, like I hope that's something that they correct. Um, I mean, it's probably because the game is optimized for better computers than mine, um, and um, you know, and the, like the, the issues with rendering the floors is is uh, contributing to it. Um, it. It's still such a weird problem for the game to have. Um, like, there's got to be a way around that. Like, there has to be some way they can check. They can make a check. I mean, specific, a check specific to the prawns, certainly, although um, from what I've heard, that happens with, uh, with being on board the Cyclops too, so I guess it ha that check would have to apply to uh, um, uh, you know, to, to, to the regular player as well. I mean, just, uh, I don't know, some check to make sure you're within the bounds of the world um, and, like, push you back into it, I don't know. I just, I don't know, I just, it just shouldn't be a thing. Alright, let's, uh, let's grab a few fish before I head out. Because I need to, oop, that'll do. I don't actually need to freeze them, I just need to grab them. Uh, maybe zap a warper or two while I'm at it. Just need to find... Hello. You're not the fish I, was, I had in mind. Um, this is the fish I had in mind. Ah, I clicked. Darn it. That's more like it. Anyone else? One more? You'll do. My eyes are slim moving. I should have that much difficulty. There we go. Okay, so that should uh, Welcome aboard, Captain. should do in terms of um, uh, yeah, just yeah, just cook up all three of them. Oh yeah, and I wanted to uh, take a moment to um, 
replant my my uh, acid mushrooms. Nom, nom, nom. Uh, yeah, acid mushrooms. Where did I put them? I put them in here. Just um, oh no, it's the next one. I, I just just gonna find a spot where I can drop them and whack them. And I would love to do it in here where the the, the floor is flat, but don't have that option. You don't have the option of dropping things in uh, indoors for some reason. Um, you know what? The only oh, meal of opportunity? Ah. Um, here's a flat surface. What if I just drop it on top of the, the, the planter itself? So dramatic. <laughs> anyway, um, plant, 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 plant. There you go. Now I can make myself a battery, and uh, well, down here, and uh, I have the copper. Do I have a piece of copper here? Don't actually know. Yeah. Okay. There you go. There you go, I'm getting pretty good at getting self-sufficient here. Hey, I made a thing which can normally basically only be made topside. Uh, everything, everything's 100% uh, charged, more or less. Uh, might as well top this up. Fine, fine, I'll top that one up too. And I'm just gonna put this fish away for later. And I think I'm ready to go. Oh yeah, and there should be a new water bottle here. Take it out, keep this thing working. because it's got lots of power. More power than it knows what to do with. <laughs> Should probably build a second one, really. I mean, you know, my hesitation uh, building a second one on top was the, the, the amount of power demands. Incidentally, I, I put the um, I put the hull reinforcement in there. So, um, yeah. Should be able to, uh, yeah, it's got the, the grappling arm and the drill arm. Should be able to um, navigate this terrain well, get a fair bit of uh, stuff collected. So, yeah, let's go. So yeah, my main mission here is collect kyanite, uh, but I gotta collect some other things while I'm here, while I'm at it, because I've got the inventory space for it, so why not? So, um, getting some copper, although you know what, okay, if I'm gonna drill for any copper, it should be the stuff that's that's further away. Um, oh crap, nickel, I guess. Um, that was nickel, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, because, you know, I, I should, I should leave, <laughs> whoa, 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 what's going on here? <laughs> uh, I should leave, like, the close copper here for when I'm, um, uh, like, when I'm in the middle of building something and I go, oh, I need, uh, need copper, I'll just nip out for the copper that's just around the corner here. Like, uh, if I'm going to go in this long sojourn here, Gotcha. I'm gonna go on a, a long trip here to uh, and collect uh, 
collect the copper as part of it. Um, I should get the copper that's furthest away from my base. Oh yeah, we got the sonar of with the uh, sonar effect with the sea glide. Um, need to take advantage of that more often. I mean, it's not as detailed as the uh, the scanner rooms version, but uh, you know, it can give you a bit of viable information. I think. 1252. This is, um, yeah. Like I said, like this is the point where if I, if I like, hypothetically, if I fell out of the world right now, I'd, I'd fall below the crush step very quickly. So let's get that kyanite because uh, that is uh, one of the ingredients. Some interesting information here. Uh, it's one of the necessary ingredients for. Um, getting the next level of depth upgrade. Seventy degrees right here. That's that looks kinda cool. How does how do you have lava falls underwater? I mean like, I'm no expert or anything. I'm no geologist, but uh, I would think that the like the, the lava, um, it, it would because like lava is, is molten rock, right? I, I would think that it would it would solidify pretty quickly once exposed to the water. Like lava falling into water, you know, it's a thing that happens. Like like. Like during a volcanic eruption, uh, like the oh, there's a couple of them. You know, like the lava flows into uh... yeah, the lava flows into the into the water and. Uh... Scored on them. Um, sorry. Yeah, the little oh, flowing in, into the uh, into the water solidifies pretty quickly. I've, like I've seen, I've seen like video footage of lava flowing into water, and like like the outer edges of the water of the of the lava. Solidify, and then it, um, and you see sort of like the molten bits of the lava like sort of push through the, the as it's solidifying. It's uh, you know it's just a neat visual effect. <laughs> it's uh, it's one of those things. It looks really cool. Any more warpers? Yes. Always more warpers. Like to uh, take them out when I can. Don't like them having them surprise me. Gotcha. Rah. I don't know if that actually even gets uh, takes them out. Really. Um, but it seems to make them, at least, at the very least, it makes them go away for a time. And that's good enough for me. It's good enough for my purposes. Okay, is there a... yeah, <laughs> there are two of them. <laughs> like, you can hear them, and like, those lava larvae are sounding a little too happy. <laughs> Hello. Is that a lava lizard? See? Let's see if we can get a scan on you.
This will do. He's not happy about being stunned. That's okay. I didn't hurt him. Is he gonna come after me? No? Okay. Oof. No, no. Uh, sorry, but not sorry, because <laughs> you're going to drain my energy. This doesn't branch off, does it? I remember this being a pretty straightforward path. Like maybe I really do need to set up some, um, like some scanner rooms around here. How's it look on this scan here? Yeah, it's just, uh, just a little pillar in the middle of the path. Oh no, you don't! 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 Don't even try it! Don't! Don't even try it! <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, just. Continuing to push on forward, and there's first view of Kyanite. This lead, yeah. Quartz. I could do some quartz. I'm gonna grab the quartz while I'm here, because um, I am thinking of setting up an alien containment facility um, within my. Um, uh, Uh, within, within my, my base here. I was thinking of filling it with um, like um, uh, peepers, like super peepers. But maybe, maybe I'll, you know, maybe I'll start by uh, filling it with like uh, like magma rings or even or even um, even eye eyes. You know what? Why don't I fill it with eye eyes? I can breed those. That could, that could be neat. Deep blue heat resistant crystal. Yeah, it's season two. Um, I'm not see okay, I'm not seeing the little. Dude, you, you, you gotta go. Sorry. These are going into the inventory, right? I, uh, I didn't see the little. They are not. Okay, I was just gonna say, like, I'm not. I was just about to say, I'm not seeing them, the little going into inventory thing pop up. It's breaking up, but it's not. What's going on here? Where's all the kyanite? What the frick is going on here? What is going on here? What what the hell was that? I drilled the kyanite and didn't go into my inventory. It just completely broke it up and it's all it just vanished. This is concerning. Um, it's not supposed to be doing that. That is not a thing that is supposed to occur. Why would it do that? Is this a new bug? Am I gonna? Am I gonna not be able to collect kyanite or something? Like 
that that is seriously concerning. Because if if I can't collect it, then what? What, 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 what am I going to do? I mean, this is the only source of it. This area here. Is it worth making that noise? It's, 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 uh, it's one of the magma rays, right? This is a very open area. turned around. <laughs> like, drilling the quartz, I mean, yeah, drilling the quartz worked. How about this one? Drilling the copper worked, it, it put into my inventory. Drilling the Kainai worked fine in the previous game. Oh, hey, look, is that silver I see? <laughs> As, uh. Conducted element in microbicide? Hmm. Interesting, microbicide, I guess, that's, I guess that's why it goes in the, um. Why it's a necessary component of the. First aid kit maker? to completely break it down, but I was lacking in silver earlier, so... I'm trying to think of it, I should, probably should grab, uh, should have grabbed some of that lead as well. <laughs> Level is being mean to the... Mean, being mean to everything, <laughs> being the lava lizard, it's a, it's a uh, uh, lava larvae and the um, magma rays. These are harmless, right? I was able to scan without any issues last uh, season. Hold still. Come on. Crimson ray. Okay. It's, okay. it's not a magma ray. Whatever. Whatever you want to call it. There, I remember there being a reference to magma ray somewhere, though. Is this that? Uh, is this that? Circular chasm where I, uh. That's curious. There's a remarkably passive magma ray there. Or magma ray. Anyway, yeah, seriously though, like. This appears to be that circular chasm where I. encountered the. Go away. Where I encountered the sea dragon Leviathan, um, and it also coincidentally, it, the the depth plummets below 1,400 meters, so it's well beyond the the reach of my of my. Uh, go away. It's pre presently beyond the reach of my my prawn. So um, this is where I have to be careful 
And I'm sure, I am sure, this is right, um, there was plenty more kyanite before I reached this point in the previous game. Like, there's a lot of it around here, right? Not misremembering, right? I'm gonna grab a bit of uraninite while I'm here. Because I'm gonna want, want more uh, reactor rods for my nuclear reactor. Like, I probably, probably should get more than that, but, uh... I want to be, uh... <clears throat> you want to, want to be mindful of my, um... Uh, inventory space because I want to still want to get kind of how much is, how much space is in here? Okay. I mean, assuming I can get this thing to work properly and collect the uh, collect the resource properly. Like I'm actually quite concerned. Ah, oh, darn it. Intend to let him go and then quickly stun him, but he's too quick for me. Um, yeah, quite concerned about the fact that the kyanite bugged out like that. That was very strange. And if it continues to do that, it might mean I can't get that resource, which means I can't get the depth upgrade for the prawn, which means that I, I, I can't go down there. I mean, I... Theoretically, I could just swim down there, but uh, on the other hand, um, no, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. That's ridiculous. That's, that's got, had to be. I would have to be out of my mind to do that. <laughs> like um, this is going back the way I came. It's so easy to get turned around here. I'm so baffled by like. All the like everything here. What? Why? Like, why is there no kyanite? How did I get turned all the way around again? Just trying to drive you away. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking with it. Gonna, I am gonna grab that. Um, where to go? Grab that II. I'm gonna grab a few live IIs and see if I can uh, get an uh, II enclosure going. Because they, they provide almost as much food as the magma rings, but a lot more water. So it's uh, like water is limiting resource more often than food. Get thirsty, uh, fast, and get hungry. And there's limitless supplies of, uh, you know, of fish around. Like, was I supposed to scan the kyanite first or something? Like, I can't scan it. There you go. Save inventory luck. I'm gonna grab some random stuff out of here. Um, just get a bit of everything. 
There, lots of inventory space. Now I can go. Uh, this, this is your end night, right? Yeah. Welcome aboard, Captain. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try drilling the kyanite again. If it if it continues to fail to go into my inventory, um, I'm gonna stop drilling and I'm gonna. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll try saving and exiting and reloading to see if that helps. Like, I don't know what the issue was. It's continuing to just vanish. What's wrong? What is wrong? What is wrong? Is, like, is the... The inventory uh, upgrade confusing the game or something? Like, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Okay. Um, I'm just going to try save and quit and. Um, I, I, I'm gonna let me see if that fixes the issue, and then I'm just gonna reload it again. Okay, here we are, back in the game again. I don't know why it's giving the emergency power uh, message when I've got tons of power at the habitat, but whatever. All right, let's give it a whirl. I hope this works. Do I need to be closer to it, perhaps? That shouldn't be an issue. I mean, if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Okay, all right. That's better. It's going into the storage this time. I don't know what the what the issue was before. I mean, really, I only need one, and then I can duplicate the others. But I'd rather not do that. I really rather not uh, resort to uh, exploiting bugs to counter other bugs <laughs> if I can help it. That one just vanished. <sighs> At least I got some. Go away. At least I got some uh, kind of out of the deal. Uh, how much did I get? Got four. It's better than none. Okay. Um, need to. Uh, Welcome aboard, Captain. Sorry. At one point earlier, I was trying to find some uh, some food, and then I got distracted and um, didn't actually end up doing that. I think I would like to get that kyanite over there. Well, I just generally just want some more than more than four. Would kind of like to do it properly, <laughs> not just not just stick to uh, exploiting bugs to get my kyanite, even if it's perfectly justified. You're in my path, so. Oh. Huh? You're at that point now? to clear. <sighs> go away, go away. I'm trying to find a... Where is it? I hear it. There you are. Whew. Make me nervous. Like I'm already pretty nervous.
I literally have bigger fish to fry. <laughs> or something. Something like that. Uh, oh, I just noticed that I'm, uh, got injured in the scuffle with the warper. Um, okay, let's, let's, let's patch this up, shall we? Maybe I should set up another Leviathan observatory here. That would be neat. Being able to observe the sea dragon in its natural habitat. That could be really cool. Okay, let's catch that... Uh, catch that magmarang. Where'd you go? There you are. Ah. Warper takes priority. Oh, you're rather closer than I thought, yikes. Holy shit moly. Scary and unnerving. Okay. Okay, maybe that's enough. Uh, enough for one day. Okay, I'm just gonna. If that warper teleports me out of my prawn right now, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> Whoa. Speaking of pissed, I got a drill arm. I'm gonna use it if you get if you give me the opportunity. Yeah, I hear you, Lava Lava. I will. I will knife you in a moment. Just, just, just give me a second here. That was tense. <laughs> okay, seriously, where are you? Where are you? I hear you s happily squeaking away. Oh, maybe the <laughs> maybe the lava lizard got you. Huh. Okay. Well, that happened. Um. In this circumstance, it's probably prudent for me to just. You know, head back. But still, would like to get a bit more kyanite. In addition to the um, the upgrade for the uh, the prawn's depth module, there are other things I can do with the kyanite. You are not cooperating. Got you, and you just. You're just, gonna, you're just gonna fall into the lava, are you? Well, screw you. <laughs> you're just gonna go, LOL, I'm falling into the lava now, so you can't eat me. Because I'm that much of an asshole. <laughs> Spiting you with my last breath. Well, not, not last breath, last... last moments as a um last, last moments as an object with physical cohesion <laughs> before it get disintegrated in lava <clears throat> uh anyway I would like to uh, grab one or two more of those before I proceed. Huh. I didn't mean... I was just trying to grab the eye eye. I wasn't trying to grab the... Uh... 
gnome. Top up their pairs. I always top up their pairs. Technically, I only need two IIs, um, but um, I don't know. Feels like there's less chance of um, less chance. Oh, no thanks. Less chance of in in I don't know incestuous food if I um, if I have more than two or something. Anyway, um, that's a noisy leviathan out there. So yeah, would like some more kyanite. Would also like to know what's causing the what caused the kyanite gathering to fail like that. If I know it, what event triggered that to occur, maybe I can avoid it in future and uh, be able to gather it properly. I mean, who knows? Maybe maybe, maybe kyanite always has a chance of failing to gather. And I didn't know because I just got lucky every single time before this. <laughs> You know, like if it if it broke off and fell, if it at least just you know broke off and fell on the ground, then at least I could get out and collect it. That would be fine. It's just the fact that it vanished altogether is what's troublesome. Anyway, there was there was some more kyanite on the other side of the chasm. I would like to see if I can get there. Ah, sea dragon. Ah, really likes to make his presence known. I mean, maybe I should just settle for the four. Maybe I should just. <laughs> I mean, heck, if 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 the game had acted properly and given me the kind of the, cause, cause I drilled two of those things, and they have like what 14 each, something like that. I should have like over 20. Like sometimes it doesn't get 40. Sometimes I've seen it go like like give off 13 or 12. You know, I should have in the neighborhood of 20 something. 20 something kyanite, so maybe I'm justified if I if I return now and uh, just use the duplication trick. And maybe I'll just I just won't completely fill my inventory and we'll call it even. Um, one of the things, okay, one of the things if if I'm gonna build. Gosh darn it. Uh, I still need to build an upgrade station. I either build an upgrade station or head all the way back to the surface. There's another one? Ugh, where is that upgrade station? Did I pass by it? I'm out of it. I'm trying to concentrate on too many things at once. I'm literally losing it. I just went through this whole thing twice, and I, I just... I, I think I skipped over it twice. There's base pieces. Base rooms, base walls, exterior modules, exterior... exterior other... Have additions. Okay, vehicle upgrade. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I've got the gold, I've got the copper. Got the titanium. Um, do I have the titanium? I'm probably a little short of titanium, really. Guys, get off. Wouldn't hurt to grab a little more titanium. Yeah, 
Grab a bit, a bit of titanium, a bit of lead. Let's let's just head back. So I think, I think four tight or uh, four. Oh, you know what? I need to go back to service anyway because I don't have the modification station here either. Ah. I mean, I could just build another modification station, probably. You jerk, go away. What kind of predator... What kind of predator... Um, continues attacking something three times its size while it's getting drilled in the face? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. Diamond, lead, titanium, computer chip. Okay, uh, that's that's manageable. <sighs> I mean, I could I could build a modification station down here. Uh, I do have diamond. I brought three diamonds down here with me, right? I did. I did bring them down here, right? Let me grab a little bit of titanium. How much? How much uh, inventory? Is right. Actually, first of all, let's patch this up. Check storage. Lots of space. I'll gather a little bit more titanium. And a bit more uraninite. And a bit more lead. Yeah, the components of the reactor rod, there's, it's, um, it's uranite, lead, and what, what's the other thing? Titanium and glass, okay, oh. We could do with some more quartz then. Because I'm going to use up a fair bit of quartz uh, making my alien containment thing. And... Um, Yeah, let's let's head back. We'll grab a bit of lead and a little bit of quartz on the way back. Uh, I guess. Oh, there's maybe the right. Speak of the devil. <laughs> Space is taking up on the bus track. So I'm gonna jump into my oh inventory pole. Okay. We're at that point already. You know what, this is fine. Let's just head home. <laughs> like, I got the main things that I came here for. I got, um... Got the Kyanite. And I got, uh, a scan of the Sea Dragon. I also, you know, topped up some other, uh, 
some other resources that uh, that I could use. Um, I saw an eye eye there for a second ago. I was gonna grab it. Have uh, four eye eyes, two sets of parents for my new eye eye um, breeding station. No such luck. Maybe I'll come back out here again in the near future. I, uh... Like, I would like, um... <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Um... Yeah, I would like to explore this area some more, you know? Um... Like, I'm not 100% confident that I explored it thoroughly enough in my previous game. Gosh darn it. Wait for while I pull up my PDA so I can pull up my knife. It's such a weird game mechanic, really, <laughs> think about it. Two hundred meters away. I'm getting there. Yeah, I was, I was talking about uh, oh, building a vehicle upgrade console, but I don't actually need that. It's just the modification station that I need. Uh, this already has a depth upgrade. It's the um, upgrading the upgrade, which which takes the diamond, which takes the kyanite. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, that's worrying. It it locked into place though, right? I, even though even though I didn't climb out properly. He's in a standing position. Usually, the, he gets in, goes into the crouching position when he. Uh, sorry, let me just make sure this works. So I can I'm able to get back in again. Welcome to the captain. And if I jump back in again. That's more like it. Uh, I just heard at the last second a lava larva jumping onto it. Though is he? Uh, Still latched on there. Maybe it get, automatically gets ejected when I, I climb in here. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm gonna take the acid mushroom out so I can duplicate it. Oh yeah, I've got the scan room looking for diamonds because turns out I don't actually have diamonds here. Uh, I'm gonna have to go out and grab those so I can make the modification station. First, I'm well. Okay, I guess I guess I should grab the ones that are there first, and uh, hope this doesn't fail in a catastrophic way where it causes a chain reaction where all the mushrooms rupture. There you go. Lots of acid mushrooms. I want, I want more battery. Okay, so... Where am I going to put this alien container facility? I'm thinking... Let's take a look at this, this from outside. While, being, while also being mindful of warpers. Okay, no one's coming at me. Or any lava lizards either. 
Um, yeah, I'm thinking of putting it right here. Right there. Alternatively, I could... Mm, no, no, there's no space for it there. Um, right. But, uh, yeah. Thinking of putting it there. Um, that means I need to I, I need to relocate the um, the reinforcement there. How much titanium do I have? I'm gonna need six titanium. There's three in there, and oh crap! I didn't get enough, did I? How much How much did I get when I was out there? I uh, honestly um, there's more There's more titanium in the in the sea moth though. I do have enough for the multi-purpose room, just not enough for anything after that. <laughs> let's, let's go. Let's go grab the contents of the sea moth. Let's see if I can save myself from uh, heading back to. Whoa, hello. Save myself from heading back to the surface. I was gonna say. Although I'm. Whoa, you're getting a little closer for comfort. To the F Leviathans. Let's go grab some stuff. So yeah, because I'm pretty sure there was still some titanium left in here. Yeah. Oh, there are those three diamonds I was thinking of. Maybe I don't need to search for more. But maybe I'll grab them anyway. Still careful to touch to, to avoid touching those those blue acid falls. I'm assuming it's acid. I, I've never actually tried actually touching them before, so I'm assuming it hurts you. Cause the green stuff hurts you, but I don't actually know. Maybe it heals you, for all I know. Anyway, um, now that I've got that stuff, let's just uh, put these aside for now, and plus a couple of these aside. And let's do some building here. Let's uh, whip out the habitat builder and remove the reinforcement temporarily so I can put it over here instead. And then just hop on outside. So that I can, I hope there's room. I'm actually not sure if there is. Uh, Multi-purpose room right here. Huh? Is it gonna snap to the? Can't tell whether or not it's. Snapping to the right. Am I looking at the wrong angle here? Am I looking at the wrong side? There we go. There you go. So now that that's done. I should have enough. Quartz gathered. Okay, I have to go grab the quartz out of the uh, out of the prawn. Need one more piece of quartz because I need to make a hatch. 
Otherwise, what's the point? Uh, now, does this does this make the uh, the whole uh, integrity go down? I'm about to find out. Hmm, guess not. Cool. Let's put a hatch on that. Oh, oh, adding the. <laughs> Wait, what? Adding the hatch to the alien containment facility uh, made the hull uh, integrity go down, but not the alien containment facility itself. How does that make sense? I don't know. I'm letting these guys go here. Hey, the happy little eye fish, or eye eye, red eye eyes. There you go. Hopefully they'll breed in there and they'll have uh, you know another source of water. Because uh, they, they produce mine, nine water each when you cook them. You know, in addition to the food benefit. Um, cool. Okay. Um, well, let's see about that modification station next. Actually, no. Before I build the modification station, let's gather the diamond. All right. Let's go catch some fish. Uh, if all goes well, this will be the last time I have to go out to catch fish. Because if my little eye eye population goes up, then uh, you know, could use them as a, a primary food source. But before I can do my fishing, I have to do some warper hunting. Eat around here. That'll do. Like these, like these mangarangs are really annoying to catch. Stop! Stop doing that! I'm not touching anything. It's charging up the shot. It's only supposed to charge up the shot if I'm holding my finger on the button. Like I have my hands off the controls and it's still charging it. Like it's. Annoying feature that sometimes it just does that. It's it's kind of weird. Anyway, um, more magmarings. There were a couple of them here. I don't know where the other one went. Got distracted by the uh, stasis rifle screwing up. Whatever. I'll eat the ones that I've got, and I'll. Uh, Come back at it for more. All right, who's next? Anyone else? Anyone else gonna be eaten? <laughs> Need some volunteers to be devoured. <sighs> no one volunteers and. I'll volunteer you or something. diamonds. They have to be within 500 meters, right? Okay, would like one one more fish. Let's 
stop do it's doing it again. I'm not I'm not touching the controls. It drains the battery when it does that too. <sighs> Is there anything up here? I suppose I can get a clipping of this this tree here. So yeah, so there's nothing up here, right? I'm just curious. Wait. I said I want one more fish, right? I am keeping an eye on my oxygen. <laughs> Yeah, this is, ca catching the magmarangs is a little annoying. Like they they dart around so much, it makes it awkward to catch them. And also, it's treacherous, a little treacherous to do it because of all the warpers around. So having my own little supply of uh, fish, if if I can get them to breed, um, would be welcome. Maybe I shouldn't watch them. They might get performance anxiety or something. <laughs> um, Anyway, um, why don't I head out and get those diamonds now? We'll just be, uh... I've already did what I, I uh, promised to, I'd set up to do uh, for this session, so I can just end it right now. Um, there's probably um, there's probably nothing else that I can accomplish down here, quite frankly. I mean, unless unless I, it turns out I can find the, uh, the the thermal station that's supposed to be at 1,200 meters depth, which. You know, I'm at the right depth for it right now, and it's supposed to be in a volcanic region. And I, like, in the previous season, I expected, I fully expected to find it down here. Like, I thought that that's what this whole, that's what this whole region was for. I thought that's what, uh, you know, that's what I was going to find. And, um, and I wasn't here. Surprise! Huh. Um, yeah, a little troubling. Um, yeah, I, it's just because because now I'm like I don't know where I'm going to find it. Then I'm presuming it's a significant thing. Like it's the only, it's the only. Um, It's it's the only uh, stop it don't it's just seventy degrees you big baby um, it's um I think that's all is here I just I only hopped out to I get to uh, whip out the uh, the sea glide just to get this the image here. Don't suppose. So we're just looking at the sea glide and there isn't something like behind the the lava fall or anything like that, right? Hold on. Just want to come a little closer. 
Like the the light from the lava is kind of blinding, and it's kind of what it's. I want to check to see if there's something behind it. I don't think I don't think there's anything here. It's just a dead end, right? Yeah, just cares. Anyway, got the diamonds. Uh, I can make that. Um, make the thing, uh, the modification station, and then and in turn make the prawn depth meter. Uh, depth meter. Depth uh, upgrade. The, the, the reason I the, the phrase depth meter came to mind is I was thinking of Terraria. Yeah. For a second there, I thought, oh, is that a cave? There's a could that be something to explore? And it's like, no, it's like immediate dead end, just like everything else. It's worth taking a look around, maybe. Did I know that was there? things that they make <laughs> I mean these ah, the warpers which are supposedly intended to be like defensive agents or something like they must have made a lot of them they like they, they don't reproduce do they like they're biomechanical constructs so like I would theoretically there should be a finite number of them Unless they're somehow able to make more themselves. Who knows? What's up here? Did I explore this? Looks like it just comes up to a point and then that's it. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I do need to like explore this whole area more thoroughly. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I should just okay. I should wrap this up. Um. I think. I'm probably gonna end this recording by okay. You know what? I, I am. I'm gonna take advantage of the bug. Sorry, I'm making more kyanite because I'm supposed to have more of it. Quite frankly, um, I don't. I. I think I'm. Uh, I think I'm justified in uh, in uh, doing that in this case. Like it's clearly a bug, something breaking down. Like I wasn't giving game the. I, I drilled that guy, and I I just didn't get it. Um, and then um, I think I'll finish up the recording by making a return to the surface in the sea moth, because um, there's some other things I was hoping to do. Um, I, I, I do want to, um, um, no, I'm trying to say, um, I want to make, make another, um, um, what do you call it, 
Miller prawn topside. Wow, my language skills are failing. I guess um, maybe I'm really tired. I should. I, so if I'm if I'm that tired that I'm having that that kind of word recall issue, that's probably a sign itself that I, I should. Uh, Hold on a second. Um, I saw a little research or scan icon come up here. How about that? I don't know if I actually got that last game. Now, does this work? Ah, oh, crap. I think I, I think I botched the timing on that one. That, that felt better. There you go. Not gonna bring myself up to twenty of it, but uh, at least a few more. Yeah, it kind of makes me wonder if um, kyanite is available loose like this. I've only ever seen it in the in the the big forms, the big drillable forms. Looks like it's it's only scannable if you pull it out and then drop it. <laughs> Is that excessive? I'm about to find out. I'm gonna wait for you to stop rolling because everybody won't. Because uh, I keep missing when I when you roll out of the range of the uh, out of the prawn's grab. <laughs> there you go. That's a pretty good collection for now. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, all right. I should be able to build myself modification station now. Um, just put it against this wall here. All right. Um, so should be able to uh, grab the. Depth module out of here. Crush depth now 900. No, his work is the warning. Dr. Vehicles below current crush depth. <laughs> and I should be able to. Hey, look at all this stuff. Um, which one is it? So these three kyanite, five titanium, two lithium. Oh dear. Do I have enough lithium? I'm not 100% sure about that. I might need to make, make another trip out there to get lithium. Oh, I got lithium. What am I worried about? It's actually the titanium that I might need to go up for. Because uh, I, I used a bunch of titanium for the... I used titanium for the multi-purpose room, for the uh, tank facility itself, and the hatch, and for this locker here. And... Wait, don't, don't do that. Go on. Get, get, get out of there. Is there any more uh, titanium in here? No, there's not. I need to go up for titanium. Gosh darn it. It's always something. All right, well, um, whatever. I can take it topside. I'm planning to go up topside anyway, which makes it a little silly that I uh, <laughs> went to the trouble of building the modification station. If I'm just gonna uh, make the thing topside anyway. Oh well. Okay, so my alien containment still. Oh, well, there you go. Wait, wait. I thought I saw. I swear I saw a fourth one, but that might have just been a guy clipping through the wall over there. <laughs> no, no, no. There is a fourth one. It's a bit. There's a little baby eye in there. Uh, excellent. Okay. I was just gonna say, why don't I try sleeping to see if I can, you know, make the time pass faster. Uh, time pass faster. 
and see if I get a uh, get extra uh, extra eye eyes out of that. Worth a try, I think. <sighs> How's it look? Hey, revision to the eye. <laughs> I don't know. Um, regardless, oh yeah, and we got some water over the deal too. And maybe a new first aid kit, although I don't think I have enough time to pass. Yeah. Okay. Uh, keep calm. <laughs> um, yeah, I think this is probably. I was about to say this is probably a good note to end on. No, I said I was going to go to the surface first. Um, so I'll bring a bunch of kyanite up there with me. Uh, anything else I should bring up? Um, obviously, I should bring diamond so I can uh, bring all three of it. Um, yeah, bring the diamond up there. Um, and uh, and a bunch of kyanite and uh... so yeah, the plan is. Um, um, build a new prawn up there and do the stuff that was the plan on prawn. I mean, I, I was, I'm planning to uh, go take it to the to the sea treader paths because I, I wanted to um, I wanted to finish uh, investigating those. The fact that there was a ghost leviathan nearby made it treacherous. So um, having a prawn along uh, should help with that. Um, yeah. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, I'm trying to think. Do I have enough? Do I have enough rubies up there to uh, to make? Um, I've got plenty of purple gel. Rubies are the main region for. I, I, there, there, I know there there are two stock teeth up there, so I've got enough for the enamel glass. Um. Trying to think of if I have all the ingredients for the prawn. I should have enough. I'll pick up a few rubies on the way just in case. Yeah. And there will be plenty of titanium up top. I can just go over to the Aurora to gather some from the scraps. That part will be fine. Um, oh, hey, there's another eye eye over here. I can toss them in to join his buddies, but uh, I think they seem to be doing fine on their own anyway. Yeah, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, since, I mean, since this is, they're doing okay in here, um, I guess I might as well grab a few of them to, uh, is this a horrible thing to do? With the level of inbreed, inbreeding going on there, I well, you know how many uh, like genetic defects these guys have. <laughs> they're, they're, they're probably still edible. See, so yeah, I'm just downing these three for the, the trip up to the top. Look at that, brought me up to full water as well. Nice. Um, and those last few inventory spaces can be used for rubies on the way back. Uh, oh yeah, and um, what did I get? Okay, it was a kyanite. It's blue silicon minerals formed under high temperature, high pressure conditions is resistant to heat up to 1100 degrees Celsius. Thermoelectric, making it a viable component of thermal power plants, essential for advanced fabrication. Okay, that's what I've got, I don't expect it anyway. Um, did I not? Ha did I have this in the previous season? I don't remember. Anyway, carnivores is there's going to be the, the lava lizard, right? Yeah. Avoid especially in the presence of lava flow. Mm-hmm. Then you got herb before it's like ah oh, yes, the crimson ray. I remember seeing reference to a magma ray somewhere. I would have expected this to be a. Maybe it doesn't actually exist. I don't know. It's inedible. 
And finally, Sea Dragon Leviathan. Look at that, I got Ghost Leviathan, Reaper Leviathan, Reefback Leviathan, Sea Dragon. Sea Dragon Leviathan and Sea Treader Leviathan. Colossal Leviathan with reptilian features. Extreme threat avoided in all circumstances. Huh. Uh, is that compared to. Yeah. Reaper Leviathan also extreme threat avoid in all circumstances. What was the Ghost Leviathan? Extreme threat avoid the crater edge. Hmm. Yeah, I never. Um, Never dealt with the, the Ghost Leviathan Juvenile this time around. Uh, how am I doing for time? It's almost two hours. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna uh, make a trip up to the surface in the sea moth and then I'll call it a day. I'm gonna grab a few rubies on the way. How's this thing doing? Uh, I feel like I should make the most of it. And, um, hey, you've got a new med kit. Um, you know, make the most of it and grab a water bottle out of it just before I go. So that by the time I, I get back, there are two more. But it's like, I don't feel like waiting that long. So, anyway. Yeah, so I'm bringing the prawns to death meter because I'm going to upgrade it. Um, anything else should I bring with me? Like, what, what else uses the kyanite? Uh, yeah, ion power cell. Ion power cell, like, it doesn't have the look of alien tech. Like, I, 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 I'm assuming it's human tech, but, like, how do I make it? I, I've... <sighs> I've never encountered blueprints for it. And you know, I've th I feel like I've searched the, this, the uh, service pretty thoroughly. I don't know. There's got to be some piece of the puzzle I'm missing somewhere. Ion power cell. I thought maybe, maybe when I constructed the nuclear plant, I would get extra options. Maybe the ion power cell would be among them, but mm, nope, no, su no such luck. Yeah, yeah. That's prawns of depth module. Cyclops deck depth module. Like I, I guess I might as well make that. <laughs> Because I can, but uh, nothing else here is anything I particularly care about, right? Do any of these take kyanite? Oh yes, thermal reactor. I mean, it's an option. It would allow me to just carry on as long as I want in the prawn down here. But like, it holds enough. It holds enough power pretty well, at, regardless. And I'd rather have. Um, I'd rather just carry a power cell in my inventory than uh, take up one of the upgrade slots. So that's just kind of whatever. Yeah, none, none of these other things require kyanite, right? Oh yeah, Cyclops like really actually module. That might be more more useful um, since it, it burns through its energy so fast. Yeah, no, nothing else here. I, I've built everything uh, here, right? I mean, like pulling up the uh, like the habitat builder. I think I've got everything on this list. Like, I mean, aside from like, to you know, base components. Like, I've built one of each of these. I've built one of each of these. I've built one of each of these. I haven't built a radio down uh, in this game. What the hell? I'll, uh... Why don't I build that right now? No particular reason. Like I'm heading up topside anyway. I don't. I don't need a radio down here. Is there room here? Over here, maybe. maybe I should put it. There you go. Next to the navigator. 
No new messages. What a surprise. <laughs> yeah, so... I guess I haven't built a power cell charger this game. We haven't had a need for it. Like, I demonstrated that once the, the once you build your thermal, your first thermal plant, that makes a uh, use message show up. Um, yeah, all these other things, it's like whatever. They're all built. Oh yeah, uh, nuclear waste disposal. I don't know how significant that is. I have a feeling I should build that next to the power plant, my, my nuclear plant, I mean. Oh, I used up my last titanium. Whatever, I'm wasting so much time. I, I should get going. All right, let's go. So yeah, so uh, just gonna make the trip up to the top, up to the surface. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let me grab a few, uh, few rubies along the way, and then I'll call it a day. And any further plans for exploration up there, we'll wait till next session, whatever that is. So, keeping an eye out for rubies. Cause I, I, I think I've got a couple up there, like enough to make, actually I only, I only need two to make the prawn, but um, I'm actually, I'm not 100% sure if I, ha if I have if I have them. Cause all the other components, I, I should be fine. I've got, I've got stocker tea for the enamel glass. Got plenty of course, like I definitely have plenty of course, because I, I remember picking up a bunch of it on the way back, my last trip up there. Still keep an eye out for rubies. I know they're around here somewhere. I remember there being a ledge on the right over here which had like four of them and, and I, I picked one of them up so there should be like three more maybe I'll see it on the way back yeah could do with it a meal on the way back oh. there you go Let's, let's dump some stuff in here. Um, don't want to put all the kai in there just like on the off chance that something goes terribly wrong and I lose the sea moth. I say I wanted to. Let's see if I can find one more ruby. Just, just, just one more, and then I'm heading, heading back there. Like, come on, just one. This might have been the ledge I was thinking of. There's a they're like pile of them. Yeah, just get another one. There you go. There you go. This area isn't really thoroughly explored, is it? I mean, um, could be more over there. Uh, 
Like the path from here to the volcanic region is fairly linear, but there, like that there, that's like like a branching pathway there, might be worth checking out. And the 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 path to the where the um, um, where the infection research station is, there, there's a path there. I, I believe that path there has um, has Ghost Leviathan in it, if I'm not mistaken. I, is that the where the place that leads to um, uh, uh, to use Pod? I think CTOU. Two kilometers away. I'm gonna go this way again. Is this where the um, yeah I come out underneath the uh, the dry land? The geography of this this game just messes my head. Like things are closer together than you than than you, than you think they are. Than than it seems than seems logically to be. <laughs> like, cause you uh oh whoa, 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 whoa. careful. That's uh, what is wall? What is not wall? <laughs> Let's wait for things to render. It's not such a problem for the for the CMOS. I mean, like the problem, the the reason that um, falling out of the world due to that bug is such a problem for the prawn is it's affected by gravity. Um. Hang straight up. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to the island because I'm curious. Uh, I just wanna I wanna check something out. Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, like the reason it's such a problem for the prawn is that it's affected by gravity. It it has limited jump. Oh, what was that? Seriously, what was that? It was bright green. Like what fish is that? Oh, it's a hoop fish. Sorry, he's <laughs> just illuminated in a strange way. Anyway, um, but yeah, there was something I wanted to check here. Might have been this area here. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Cause. I was, um, you know, I was watching watching that LP as I mentioned. Um, I, I'm like, I don't intend to to, uh, to watch uh, to the point where like they catch up with me or anything. Like, I, I just want to uh, catch people's initial impressions. And they, anyway, she uh, went to this this island and found a PDA that I didn't find and it was in a little um, little alcove where there was which had access to water I don't know for sure if it's uh, accessible from here but maybe could this be it Because it's like, um, you know, alternate access point to the island. It looks kind of like this, I think. And then again, who knows? Maybe maybe it's randomized. Maybe it's in a different location. No, there, there it is. And, you know, like, if I, you know, tried to be clever and, and um, Access the island from underneath. I would have found this first. Integrating new PDA data. 
rendezvous voice log. That's the proof that the Aurora team, they, they made it here. So let's see what this is about. Um, why are you still sending the US5 then? We have to board the Aurora, repair the long range comms, hmm. make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not huh. the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command, it's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't right. let you go alone. Then come with me. You don't leave me much choice. Received emergency transmission from second officer team two hours after last activity. Rendezvous was a failure. Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ. Seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. We were intercepted by a Leviathan-class predator before we could reach the ship. Consider the CTO and I lost at sea. Be safe. Keen. Out. Okay, so, you know, a lot of information imparted in this little message here. So, apparently, CTOU actually did survive. Somehow. You know, sinking to 500 meter depth, and being uh, how would you how would you survive that? I mean, like I'm trying to imagine the start of the game. You know, you don't even have um, you don't even have an oxygen tank at the start. You have about 45 seconds of breath. That's not enough to go 500 meters, not without. Um, like, so you wouldn't have had, um, like, the flippers either. <laughs> I mean, maybe there's enough titanium in the surrounding terrain. Like, maybe she could go out and sh short, quick uh, trips to gather titanium to uh, to make an oxygen tank. Um, and then you would have 75 seconds. Is that enough... Uh... But no, no, I mean, like... It's not. It's not 75 seconds because 500 meters depth, you have less oxygen efficiency. So her, her uh, oxygen meter would be plummeting. Uh, I don't know. If she could, if she could find the 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 mechanisms of uh, for. Hold on. Hmm. Can you drag this up here? Your equipment. I guess you get the high capacity O2 tank, then she has 135 seconds instead of 75 seconds. Just needs to find some silver. And of course. Hmm. Because she wouldn't she wouldn't have the blueprints for like like a uh, sea glide, for instance. Getting a rebreather would be troublesome. Yeah, there, there are no there are no um I'm just trying to think how, how she could have done it. <laughs> there's no, there's no um, uh, creeper vines to make the fiber mesh, so she can't make a rebreather. So I guess high, ten high capacity oxygen tank would be her best bet. And then she would just be swimming under her own power for after that. Just trying to avoid everything up until she could swim over here. <laughs> I mean, it might be doable. It was just, it, was just, it would really suck. <laughs> anyway, I'm doing a lot of rambling here. But yeah, so Commander Keen and CTOU uh, made it here, and they were the only ones that made it here. And she decided to go off on her own, but Keen went with her and. We were intercepted by a Leviathan class predator before we could reach the ship, considered the CDO and I had lost at sea. Oh, night time. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, where exactly is that rendezvous beacon? Hold on. Um, ah. 
We're around every point. Um, like seriously, where where exactly is it in relation? It is I kind of wonder is is this the exact point? Like was I supposed to be drawn to this spot exactly? Where is it? I don't see it now. Welcome aboard, Captain. Maybe I don't see it because I'm already on top of it? I'm just, I'm just really curious. Where, where, where is the exact point that the beacon points to? Did it turn itself off again? Like two seconds after I uh, turned it back on. Is this it? Is this the exact point? Okay. So if you if you'd gone to the exact point of the beacon, then you would have found it. Okay. So it isn't it isn't a super obscure. I just I just saw an island and went whoa island and didn't explore any further. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, just curious. Anyway, yeah, that's. Um, Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. So, uh, consider us lost at sea. Did they, like they got this far? Apparently, nobody else did. I'm just trying to think. What? How does this? Uh, as fit with the overall story and timeline and so on. Although, I mean, like I said before, like the, the timeline is kind of weird. I, I still feel, it still feels like, um, like maybe I, I arrived uh, after everybody else did. <laughs> I'm looking around because I, I uh, as I established, I could do with some more titanium. And I'd like to grab. There isn't ah, isn't any um. There aren't any aurora bits around here. Aurora bits are everywhere. They're even beyond the edge of the crater, where theoretically it makes the least sense for them to be. Okay, um, I think this is a good time to wrap this recording. Um, uh, I was going to assemble the prompt before I left, uh, before I ended this. I, I, uh, I just finished doing uh, two trips gathering titanium, um, and um, you know, just quick, just jaunt over to in the direction of the Aurora and just gather whatever scrap metal I could find. Uh, and then when I went to actually build the prawn, I discovered I was short by one lithium <laughs> for the plast steel. Uh, I have everything else, uh, lithium is once again my uh, living region. Um, so uh, probably at the start of the next session I'm just going to go some somewhere that has shale outcroppings and just 
and just uh, just whack a few shale outcroppings until I can get in, get some lithium. Maybe, maybe over by the enforcement station. There's, you know, there's, there's tons of lithium over there. Uh, I've got more lithium down below. Ugh. Hmm. I mean, if I had the prawn, then I could just use it to duplicate the lithium, but um, <laughs> chicken and the egg here. Need to make the prawn first. Uh, so yeah, so I'll, um, I'll have to see about getting getting some lithium uh, next session, and then I'll uh, build the prawn, and then I'll I'll do something. I'll see if I can um, explore, find some stuff. I don't know. Um, like I said, I want to I want to check out the. Um, the, the sea treader path around where the ghost of Biden showed up. I want to see if um, see if there's anything there. I don't know. I um, yeah. Um, I mean, this, this episode was kind of fun. It was neat going into you know an interesting and dangerous environment with a with a specific quest in mind. Um, the um, when I'm wandering aimlessly, especially fruitlessly, it's just it starts to get less fun. Um, at least this next time, I'll, maybe I'll have a ghost of Ithan to contend with, and maybe that'll be more interesting. We'll see. Until next time.